In this video we're going to be looking at Zorin OS 6 Lite. That is the version of Zorin intended for low specification or out-of-date hardware. As you might be able to tell it's based on the LXDE desktop and of course LXDE uses a lot less resources than GNOME and it's a little less flashy but um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the differences between the light version and the full GNOME version. Okay, So the first thing to mention is that OS 6 Lite has a lot less applications installed by default so as you can see when we look down some of the menu structures here there is a lot less that you get actually with the base install and that's in keeping with the low footprint ethos. So let's take a look at some of the things that it has got in common with its sibling. Lite does have a version of the Zorin Look Changer. And if we click on that here, you can see in this case, in the Lite version, we only have two possible states that we can put it into. The default Windows 2000 or the alternative Mac OS X. So if we click on that, one thing you'll notice is that in the light version we have to log out and back in in order to reapply our changes whereas in the full version it would just make the changes straight off so let's go ahead and just give you a flavor of what the OSX version looks like as you can see along the bottom we have icons for all our various applications and along the top we have pretty much the same taskbar as we had in the Windows 2000 version and it's up at the top of the screen instead so calendar application, logout, down menu, etc. So if we go back into the system tools, sorry, in look changer, we can then alter the look back to Windows 2000 and then log out and back in again to get our original theme back. Okay, and here we are back in the Windows 2000 theme. If we go back into the main menu, one of the other things you'll see down in the System Tools option is a new option called Zorin OS Lite Extra Software. And if we click on that, you have to enter your standard password. And this gives you access to quick installs for some of the software that is missing from Lite over the full version. So for instance, we have the Wine compatibility libraries, which allows you to run a lot of uh, Windows software on Zorin. The VLC media player, various games, a spreadsheet, a simple paint application, media center, etc. I'm not going to install any of that now, so I'm just going to click down here. Also on the main menu you can see several different package installers here. The default is the Software Center. Now this is a pretty low footprint version of the Ubuntu Software Center. So again we've got the different categories that we can click down into and we can choose whichever application we want, add it to the basket and then install it. I'm not going to do that now. But in addition to the Software Center we have also a choice between the GDebbie package installer and uh, Synaptic if you prefer those two. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the file manager. File manager here is PCMan FM and it works pretty similar to most file managers. So double click on a folder to navigate down into it. So let's take a look at videos here and uh, use the back button to go back up. On the left hand side we can change between different file systems down here. And if we navigate down into a folder and right click on a file, we can choose from various options like rename, cut, paste, delete, etc. And if we double click on a runnable file, it will actually open up the application in which that um, file is runnable. So in this case it's the media player. I'm just gonna quit that. So that's a quick look at the file manager. Down here in the bottom bar you'll notice these two icons here which allows you to switch between different virtual workspaces. So if I click on desktop 2, I for instance get the browser window here which is Chromium. If I click back on desktop 1, you can see here's my file manager window. 
So that brings me to the multimedia support that comes in with Zorin Lite. Now like its larger sibling, it does come with full flash and PDF support. So I can click here on the BBC iPlayer, I can just click on the play button and it immediately starts to play without having to install flash player or anything which is a really nice feature for a uh, low specification version of Linux. Now the rest of the desktop is pretty standard so apart from the main menu down in the corner here we have access to our browser, our file manager, our media player which is audacious, our two workspace switcher icons and then obviously we have our minimize applications here see we've got a terminal window down here and we have also got our file manager window click on the icon in the taskbar at the bottom to toggle between minimized and display states over in the right hand side we have our system taskbar with the usual suspects in them and that's really all there is to Zorin OS 6 Lite it's a bit of a curious beast as it really lacks a lot of the features that made the full version of Zorin distinctive so it doesn't come with all the compatibility libraries of Wine and Play on Linux already installed and configured so you have to actually do that yourself and the look changer itself is just simply a uh, switcher between two different basic LXDE themes which of course you could create on any version of Linux so it's difficult to see how the light version stands out from the crowd and perhaps the only reason that you would really want to install this over something like Lubuntu is if you were running the full version of Zorin on your main desktop and wanted to run a similar looking operating system on your lower power laptop. Thanks for watching.